in order to operate on the right hand side of the U, we have to establish and act from three connections. And let me uh, quickly um, let me quickly kind of draw these connections. So uh, the first connection is the connection that I would call kind of the horizontal connection. And the horizontal connection is really kind of what the whole core sensing and observe, observe space is all about, which is that I get out of my own bubble and I connect with all those other places and people and stakeholders and perspectives that are outside of my normal territory. Kind of that is number one, kind of the horizontal connection, the sensing connection. That's the first one. The second one is the vertical connection. It's not just this. It's the vertical connection. And what is the vertical connection about? The vertical connection is eventually about connecting the normal S self, my current self, with the capital S self, which is my highest future possibility. So that's the vertical connection. That's the second one. And then the, the third one is, as you begin to connect these two connections and relate them, the third one is the act is the I in now. The I in now is to attend to that what is um, emerging from the now and beginning to operate from that. And it's kind of the attention and the acting from that nowness, what really is kind of the essence of presencing and the essence of operating on the right hand side of the you. Now, if you look at that, that looks simple, right? It's really kind of, it's linking both the horizontal and the vertical connection and beginning to operate from the now. It sounds so easy, but in reality, that's exactly the biggest challenge we have. And, that, and it's partly because there are kind of four major distractions that every single moment try to prevent us to operate from that space. And we all know these distractions very well. The first distraction is called the past. Right? So the past is that my mind, rather than focusing on the now, it's all hung up with what happened yesterday and, you know, what um, I should have said and um, what um, these people did and that people, those people did. So it's the past that our mind kind of constantly goes back into the past rather than staying tuned and open with what's emerging from the now. That's the first distraction, but that's not the only one. The second one, we also know very well and that distraction is called the future. So that my mind is not where I am now, but my, and it, my mind is not like um, um, working on the yesterday or the last year uh, and so forth, but it's kind of uh, focusing on tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, what I will be doing next, what um, you know, my, my next to-do list that I have to be, have in mind uh, as I move into the day after tomorrow. It's, it's not here, it's in the future. And again, that is a distraction from a purely energy point of view because the only moment that's really real is the present moment, right? Uh, yesterday is no longer real, that's gone. It, it has n really no actual reality. Uh, tomorrow is not real, that's not yet, right? One is gone, the other hasn't happened yet. 
It is the present moment where we can take action. That is the biggest leverage we have. Yet our mind, rather than focusing on that, is slipping off either into this or into that direction. But then there are two more. This one is about, it's all about them. So how often are we in, in conversations where you know, we worry about and we get riled up kind of what they did and what they should have been doing and what they ought to be doing tomorrow and so on and so forth. And yet it is like wasted energy because all we can control is what we do ourselves. So that's kind of the fourth way of failing, kind of worrying about them. And then the last one, of course, the compliment is, it's all about me, right? So rather than focusing on what's emerging here from that larger field of nowness, I focus on um, what will happen to me if, if I let go of this, kind of what will be my new place. And so I get worried about, um, you know, uh, either my yesterday or my tomorrow, or what might be the impact to me. And yet, so although that's understandable sometimes, it is a distraction. That's the fourth distraction. So those are the four powerful distractions, the past, the future, them, and me. That disconnects us kind of from that pregnant moment, kind of that, the I and now, kind of that, deepening of the social field that opens up new possibility within and among us. So that's basically the, um, you could say that's like from a more practical point of view also a way of kind of looking at the you process from a pragmatic point of view, which is how it shows up in my own mind and how it shows up as a challenge of really focusing on what is present and what is about to emerge rather than getting lost in any combination of these four distractions here. So that's um, number seven. Again, let me come back to number seven. Number seven is operating on the right-hand side of the you really means for, to connect with and to act from these three connections, the horizontal, the vertical, and the nowness, the I and now. 